And every time I think of Juma and the example that Allah used about animals, I really wish our Muslims would read and study Islam. Do you know the nations before? And time does not permit me to go in the details. But the nations before, if you go on, I'll probably do some reference with a few verses. The nations before, there were some people who did not go or did not observe their Juma. Now, Juma means Friday. But it was called their Sabbath. Sabbath was there. You know what Allah did to them? What He did to them? He turned them into apes and swines. Asfala safili. Allah says, those people that he has cursed, he can turn them into monkeys, apes, and swines. Go check Surah Al-Maidah. Ashafat is not saying that. Chapter 5, verse 16. Allah says that with his mouth. I serious business, brother. Bro. <laughs> Allah curses someone. And his azab and punishment and anger is someone. And do you know what he did to some of those people? He tested them. Go and check Surah Al-Araf, chapter 7 again, you will see. He tested them because, you see, if you check history, when the British rule some countries, the Trinidad is an example, the Caribbean and some other countries, there was a law that businesses were not allowed to be open on a Saturday. Businesses were not allowed to be open on a Sunday. Because Sunday was a Sabbath day for some people. So, no, I'm using the word Sabbath. Sunday was their Juma. You understand? And when we leave here, you take the CD with the references of the verses. Don't go and say Shafiyat said that. That he spoke about swines and pigs and apes on the member. Say the Quran says that. And get the CD and quote the verse. Don't be like stupid people. Go and misrepresent people. If we don't like something, if you don't like it, it doesn't mean it's wrong. If you don't like something or you're angry about something, it doesn't mean that something is wrong. Unless you have your dalil and proof. Other than the Quran to prove the Quran and Allah wrong. The people, as I said, in those countries, so strong was this law. that even in the recent times when the British ruled certain areas, and even till now in some areas, if they're very strong with their religious practices, people were not allowed. In some places, businesses were allowed, but they were not allowed to sell alcohol on Saturday and Sunday. People would sell alcohol through the back door. You remember those days in Trinidad? You know why? It was a holy law that you don't party and drink on a Saturday and Sunday. That's Sabbath, Juma, for the Jews and the Christians. See, a lot of you enjoy Saturday and Sunday, but you don't even know how this holiday came about. Saturday and Sunday came about because it, they were holy days for people to go to church and pray to God. It was their Juma. So my brothers and sisters, similarly, if our people don't, that's, Allah was only using an example, you know. If our people don't respect and you need to tell your families and relatives this, we need to remind them. If we don't respect the Sabbath, the Juma for the Muslims, what Allah did to the people, He turned them into apes and swines, those who did not observe their holy day. Oh yeah. And He tested them with something that all of us have been tested with. If you ask some Muslims, why you don't come for Juma? I gotta work, business. The business opens on Friday, you know, Friday is a busy day. Friday is the busiest day of the week. We pay salaries. All the shipment comes, all the shipment come in. This happens, that happens. So we make all the business excuses on a Friday. Because it really happens. But that's what Allah did to the people. You know what he did to them? He made that happen. That the fish that they used to fish on a Saturday... He used to love to fish on a Saturday. Uh -huh. So only, now Saturday was their Juma. 
Saturday was their Sabbath day, their holy day. So only, <coughs> only on a Saturday would the fish come up. And they will see the fish raising its head above the ocean. So what did the people do? They went to fish. Right, Brother Nassim Sahib? They went to fish. And they didn't go for their Juma, which was their Sabbath. For us, it's Juma. For them, it's Sabbath. And Allah got angry with them because they left their Juma, they left their Sabbath, and I'm using that example, and he turned them into apes and swine. Some Mufassirin have interpreted this to say that the old men, he turned into pigs, and the young boys and the old people, he turned them into pigs, and the young people, he turned them into monkeys. You know, sometimes I look at some people, and they probably not turn into monkeys and apes and pigs, but some of us, because we don't practice Islam, and because we don't do the righteous deeds, we probably may not look like a pig and an ape, but we act like pigs and apes. My brother, you don't see some people Muslims? You wonder where they came from, man. Their attitude, their mentality, their style, their characteristics, their mannerism is like monkeys and pigs. So I wonder if this is what Allah has done to some of us. Because when He's angry with us for not observing His laws and doing the righteous deeds, he can bring us down to the lowest of low. He can have us acting like pigs and apes. And I know I don't want you to get angry with me. The Quran speaks about that. Okay, Suratin, chapter 95. And then you go back and see what he did with the people before. What he did to the people before who did not observe the commands of Allah and Allah got angry with them, He turned those people who did not observe His commandments and His laws into apes and swine. brainwash some of us we come here we sit we sleep in khutbas we don't get the message that's why we miss it all i need you to be grateful Allah. are you telling me allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not protect the, the prestige of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam only living for business that's all our dream let me see who shall save you now <laughs>